Okay, we're gonna do the derivatives of logarithmic and e functions today. Okay, so the first rule is if you have a function that's the ln of x, the derivative is one over x. So if you wanna do a chain rule on that, if x is something more, then your derivative will be one over u, and then you'll have to times it by the derivative of u. We could also write this as a single fraction and just simplify it. Okay, if you have a function that's e to the x, then your derivative is the same. And if we do a chain rule, whoops, just y, if you have something more than x there, then your derivative is e to the u, and then you'll have to drive it by um, the times it by the derivative of u. Okay, number one, ln of x squared plus 3x plus 1, so the derivative is 1 over u, and then times by the derivative of u. Okay, number two, you repeat, so e to the 3x squared, and then we'll still have to times it by the derivative, so 6x. Okay, number 3, y equals e to the x cubed plus 2x, so repeat, and then we're going to times by the derivative of all that, so 3x squared plus 2. Okay, number four. So I'm going to do this as one fraction. So one over u. And then I'm going to have the times by the derivative of u. So 6x squared plus 10x. Okay, um, some of these are very similar. So we'll just do them quickly. So here your derivative would be 1 over 2x cubed, and then you'll have to times it by 6x squared. Number 6, you repeat e to the x to the 7th, and then times 7x to the 6th. Number 7, 11x to the 7th goes on the bottom, and then 77x to the 6th. Number 8, repeat what you see, and then all times the derivative of u, so that would be 2x plus 3x squared. Okay, number 9, um, if you ever see log e, that is the same as an ln. So here we would have 7x to the negative 2 in the bottom, negative 14x to the negative 3 would be the derivative. Um, again, you can simplify that. Um, if you kept going here, obviously negative 14 divided by negative 7 is negative 2. You can move that to the top and move that to the bottom as positive exponents. You could also simplify this and have negative 2 over x or negative 2 x to the negative 1, right? Um, I would not ask you to do that, but obviously you can see where that all comes from. Okay, next one. So here, repeat, and then what's the derivative of negative x? Negative 1. Okay, last one here, number 11. So this is 1 over what we see, okay? Uh, another way to write that is if we had just reciprocated it. Times the derivative, and now when I do the derivative of all this, it's the quotient rule. Okay, so I'm going to derive the top part. Keep the bottom, 
subtract, keep the top, derive the bottom over the bottom squared. Okay, and you don't have to simplify it, but you could have wrote that as that.